Okay, today's video we're going to talk about compliments and we're going to use an example again. And the example is much the same as the last video's example, except that we start off with the pizza, the price of pizza being constant and it's 11 pizza an hour that, that is bought. Soft drink price, price, soft drink price rises from 150 to 250 and no other influences on buying plans changes. That's the same as the last video and the quantity of pizza but pizza bought falls to nine an hour after the price uh, the price of soft drink rises and that's another change for this example so let's take a look at pizzas again so because the examples are pretty similar I just wrote them down so pizzas let's look at the change of quantity demanded well we start off with 11 pizzas an hour and when the soft drink price rises from 150 to 250 uh, the pizzas bought falls to 9 an hour so the change is actually 2 pizzas minus 2 pizzas whereas before it was uh, it was plus 2 pizzas so that's the big change minus 2 pizzas the average quantity is the same uh, because again 11 plus 9 divided by 2 is 10 pizzas so really the changes the only change is taking uh, the plus 2 that we had here before turning that into a negative 2 because we dropped from 11 pizzas to 9 pizzas and that, and we divide that by 10 to give us 0.2 we times that by 100 and that will give us negative 20 percent now the soft drink is the, the same the exact same thing as the last video uh, where the change in price was a dollar 150 to 250 that's a dollar the average price is two dollars where we take 150 plus 250 divided by two uh, we take one divided by two and that will give us 50 percent so so far so good now the cross elasticity of demand is we calculate that much the same way as we did before except that now we use negative 20 percent instead of uh, positive 20% and we divide that by 50%. And what that will give us is that will give us again a, a negative 0.4. Remember in the last video this was positive 0.4 but in this video uh, it is negative 0.4 because we're talking about complements here. And some final notes before we end the video. So what we found out, let's see if we could uh, zoom in a bit to make this blackboard larger okay so the notes so what we found out is that pizza and soft drinks are complements and when the price of the soft drink rises then the demand for pizzas decrease that is because we have these two things that go together really well if we want one we might as well buy the other and since one the 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 price of one of the complements shot up that means the this will affect the uh, the other the other item which is pizza and the demand for pizza will go down because people will uh, stop buying soft drinks or buy less of it. Now the cross elasticity of demand for pizza with respect to the price of soft drinks is negative and remember that is because it's a complement. So you gotta remember that for complements the cross elasticity is negative and for substitute the cross elasticity is positive. So the price and quantity changes in opposite directions where in the last video because they were substitutes they change in the same direction and the magnitude of the cross elasticity of demand determines how far the demand demand curve shifts and that pretty much means that the larger the cross elasticity the greater the change in demand and the larger the shift in the demand curve and if two items are close substitutes such as two brands of spring water the cross elasticity is probably larger so it will probably be like a hundred if 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 normally it was uh, like 20 and if Two items are close complements like movies and popcorn. Elasticity is likely to be larger again for much the same reason as the substitutes. Now, when two items are unrelated to each other, so let's take newspaper and orange juice, then the cross elasticity is small because they're unrelated items. So if one the price of one item changed, so let's say the price of newspaper just shot up. Well, what does that have to do with orange juice? Nothing. So then that's why the cross elasticity is small. And maybe it could even be zero. And that's all I want to teach you for today. This is a, I hope this is a really short video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.